This is uh, Catalog's theme. Uh, get used to it. So yeah, this whole entire area is a shopping arcade. This is Apple Market. It's alright. Why is it called Apple Market? When you want to look up or down, push the directional button while holding down the R2 button. And yeah, you can get your toilet bits here. And as you can see, there's apples strewn stre everywhere. Even some of them reverse. Classy! Hey look, let's go up the camp. You can also uh, examine garbage pails, see if there are things inside. That has money. Huh. What are you guys doing? There are a lot of strangers coming here lately. I don't like strangers. What a loser. Hello? Uh, okay. Go away! <laughs> Go away, loser. We might as well look around here. Let's mess around. Um, and kick the can. Can! Kick the can in the bakery! Because, yeah, that's a totally responsible hero thing to do. Yeah, big shot. Another nice handy tip is checking something in a garbage can. Just kick it. If the top doesn't fly off, there's something in it. Twenty cents. And once there's nothing inside, the top does fly off. It's handy. That's a little handy thing to know. You have an ID card? <laughs> no. Too bad! <laughs> Loser, you need an ID card to actually get into the main part of the city. It's actually alright. It was a library. Hip Bone! Dressmaker Hip Bone! Yeah, sure, okay. I wanna get you into the jet lag bakery. Oh, yeah! <laughs> nice shot! Bonus 1000 zenny. Keep our streets clean. Put trash in its proper place. That is repeatable as many times as you want to gain a, a thousand zeddy every time you kick uh, the can into the jet lag bakery. However, your armor turns darker for every time you do that. See, this game employs a karma system. Haha, <laughs> Bart Toy Store. Do uh, good deeds, like be generally nice and do good things and be nice to roll, and your armor turns lighter. Be do rude things and be an absolute dick, and your armor turns darker. I don't think this has any outward appear uh, outward appearance that affects your armor. Any appearance outside of maybe a couple of dialogue por uh, portions in this game, I think. But in Legends 2, it has a bit of an influence, like they affect prices at stores and stuff like that. So here's the CD store. Well, this song is really good. You can actually check the sam uh, these and listen to samples. It's actually kind of cool. There's a jazz scene on the player, and you can listen to them like this. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. If I could talk, slick. The uh, Mega Man 64 didn't have this because of, you know, cartridge space. So they just replaced it with a generic text box. There's a heavy metal CD on it. Let's listen. I can head back to this. What are you doing, chilling? The no, I want to talk to the girl. What are you doing, chilling in the corner? Oh no! What are you doing in the store then? Get out! You don't want money. Yeah, that's a nice little thing that I unfortunately couldn't replicate in the N64. Taylor Chinos. Okay. 
Look at me! Am my core, cool what? This guy is a loser. As this guy, as the receptionist will say. That customer there spends all his time staring at the mirror and never buys anything. A scrub. Yeah, men's clothes, huh? Mega Man could do with a suit, too. Nah, uh, he gets an apron in the next game. Ooh! Market. It's probably not a good idea to go without permission. Stop being such a stupid guy. Cabbage, mushrooms, carrots. There's a lot of vegetables lined up. This game has a lot of flavor text, and I'll be sure to point out as much as I can. Oh, much of more of the interesting stuff, I guess. Want some fruit? How about some fresh vegetables? What's this? Bakery shark skin. Okay, can examine anything. Fail. So this is that new game called Mega Man Legends. It looks pretty interesting. Yeah, I bet it is. Yeah, the junk shop over next door is always going in there looking for parts. Yeah, without a gun. Going. Mm, it's all right. So let's go into the hip bone. Yeah, I should do. It was Mega Man, isn't it? Lady, like Mega Man's like fourteen, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Might need to chill. I like how you get the chance to say yes or no. Hell yeah, I'll buy it! <laughs> Damn it. Being a tease. Alright, that's enough messing around. Actually, no, there is one more thing we can do here. You can look around in these little racks for books. There are all the comics on the stands, but they're sealed in vinyl bags. So people can't read them. A lot of novels on the shelves, but none that look interesting. And you examine the back. Not here. There's some dirty magazines on the racks. It might be fun to look at them. But there's so many people around. You'd get in trouble if someone saw you. What would Rolf say? <laughs> what we're supposed to go do is go to the junk shop and ask around. This nice little lady will help us out. Parts for your ship! Old machine parts. EXPOSITION! Sort of, uh, they need to explain it for the player to understand, even though we just went on one. Hey, little blue boy! Would you willing to go find him for me? Yeah, sure. I've got, like, an arm cannon full of death. I'm pretty sure I can handle anything that comes out. Big coward. Well, that explains why he doesn't have a gun. So I gotta do a bit of uh, rescuing. Even though know, the introductory dungeon was a bit of it was enough of a warm up. Game side. No, no, no. We need to pat out a little more to get you, you know, into the groove of things. And data magically appears. I just saw an older man go into the ru those ruins over there. I wonder if he'll be all right. If you want to go check on him, you should probably save first. If you want to say, just talk to me, okay? Yeah, sure, Data. You'll notice that Data likes ninjing all over places. And he can do that. He has his ways. That he can just ninja his way through this and that. I'll check the... Tell me. Tell me. What should I do? Huh? Don't look at me like that! Oh, Buster Parts. There's a little thing you can do here early in the game with data, but I haven't put the option to come yet. I'll bring it up when it does. So now we go into this little opening ruin sort of thing. 
Help! Somebody! And we get more interesting these little guys. More of these. I think they call like Zokobons or something? I don't know. A lot of the enemy names are very Japanese. Help me! And I don't remember like any of them except for like two, those, and one other. If there are holes in the wall, examine them, because they were pretty much always stuff in them. Usually pretty good stuff. Yikes! Even for this early sort of thing. There's usually a lot of money, which helps with grinding, because, uh... Oh my! Oh my! Those little snake things, they drop like no money. This game is kind of okay about the grinding, is that it's like easy, normal, and hard mode. I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit when I, uh... Stop flailing your arms, guy. Thanks, you saved my life! Whew. Thank you, uh, Mr. Blue Boy. Come by my junk shop. I'll give you something as a token of my appreciation. Well, I've had enough of this place. I'm going home! Don't worry about me, if nothing else. I'm a fast runner. I'll make it out, okay? See you later! Oh, come on. And there's a reason why I decided to play in normal mode, of course, to easy or hard. Easy, well, all easy does is really a quadruple the refractors. Value you get. They all drop. So, uh, 50 is worth 200, or 100 is worth 400, etc. I think that's all it does in this game. It might max out your health, but I don't know. I haven't actually bothered with easy mode, like, at all in this game. I never touched hard mode because. Um, hard mode cuts your money in half! Well, all the money you find. Oh shit! My enemy drops. No thanks! It's hard enough to get money to upgrade stuff in this game in the first place. I don't need that cabin to cut in half. Even though they do, they are quite generous with uh, handouts and stuff to play the walls, but... Still, I'd rather not bother with that. Oh god! Yeah, stick with normal. Can't even get close to this guy because he's throwing bombs everywhere. Oh, loser. There we go. You notice that the health's a bit weird. Oh, God. These things usually appear in pairs. This guy that was just, just throwing fireball and walking around. And this thing was like beeping and moving. Not doing anything. That's actually sort of a trans uh, transceiver sort of thing. This robot actually gets signals from that thing. So if you blow it up, this thing becomes absolutely motionless and a pansy. You'll be kicking it to death. Cherry tapping! Your kick is very pathetic. But at least it does damage. Come on. What loser? Scrub? Salt master? Scrub all the floors! Serve you to, like... There you go. I just wanted to do that once. Yeah, the, these things are a little annoying if you let them roam about, because they do, do, they do, like, strafing. And sidestepping. Oh, wow, they drop a lot of money. They usually don't do that. You don't have to come all the way out of here, but if you do, there's this way to clear. It's rapid fire. And they explode the buster part in case you missed the power racer earlier. Here we are! Now my shots are a little faster. Which will be nice for like 10 minutes. Now we've done that, we can get, we can, uh, get out of here. 
just taking the scenery, which is not exactly an impressive scenery. It's just the same old dull, uh, light brown. These, uh, little optional rooms all have. Not exactly the most impressive, but hey. You gotta be easy to you enter somehow. Hey, roll. Hey, look at this, Mingy Man. It looks like a spotter's car. I wonder if it will run you fixed it up. Here's that too. Yeah. Are hey, you holding the junk store owner? He says he wants to thank you. So you stop by a store later. Yeah. Before I think about your health in this game, that it's covered in blocks. So you might you might take some damage and like your health is like oh hey I'm actually kind of fine and then you're like oh no I'm losing blocks ah and it's also protected by something called a life shield if with you take uh, repeated damage it breaks the life shield being the gray the, the gray bar uh, surrounding your life bar. You'll know if it's broken if your uh, life bar, the middle of the life bar turns red. And stays red as opposed to going back to black. Little kids are running around now. It's an odd little thing, I don't know why they did that. Because they went, they went back to being a straight health bar in the second game. Oh, you came back! Yeah, that's what you gotta say. Oh, what happened if you hadn't gone looking for him? <laughs> Thanks for helping me out back there. He gives us a mine parts kit. Did you see that old beat up car outside the city walls? Oh, you don't say. You can have it if you want, it doesn't run anymore. You should be able to use an exchange buster parts and stuff. Oh, hey, thanks. You're a cool guy. Oh, no. Oh, hey! Um, what did you say your name was again? My name is Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus? What kind of name is that? Well, anyway, come back soon, Mr. Hippopotamus. Trust me, it's better than Mega Man freaking Volnut. <laughs> if you got a Class B Digger's license, you can get it to the ruins of the Southern Forest. Or the one up north in the closer woods. You don't say. Thanks. So yeah, if you uh, need upgrades or whatever, you can buy them here at the junk shop. Very nice. So now we have this mine parts kit. Just go back inside. Once we do, talk to Roll, who's now staring very intently at the spotter car. Mega Man, were you able to find anything? No. Oh. If you can't find any parts in town, I guess we'll have to try digging for them ourselves. Yep. That's what the man at the junk store said. Hey, thanks, Mega. That might take a while. Which means... Huh? Mega Man, what's that? It looks like a weapons upgrade module. Oh, this? Yeah, the junk store man gave it to me. He said we could use this car to hook it up. Shut the fuck up, birds! You mean we can use this car? Well, come on then. Let's get it attached right away. Well, sounds a little excited that way. We can use this car? Sweet! There! It's ready! This weapon lets you use landmines. Just drop them in front of an oncoming enemy and boom! Just remember, there's a limited number of mines, so make sure you use them sparingly. Do you want me to explain what this weapon does again? Oh, that's okay, Roll. You did just fine. I'll get to work on fixing this car up. I'll be able to help you out and maybe spot for you if I can get it running again. Trust me, she'll do that just fine because Roll is Miss Fix It. She's very good at that. So while we're in the spotter car, you can talk to Roll if you want to about anything. She can ask about the special weapons, about item development, about the support car when it uh, is fully developed. Let's talk about special weapons. Your special weapon is a little amount of ammo. You'll notice because of the you'll have a green bar at the right side of the screen. And these are how uh, Mega Man differentiates from 
being the actual Mega Man from the actual platformer games by just finding stuff and then using them as a sub weapon. The mine is one such sub weapon. Use them with triangle, as the game just said. And if you don't have one equipped, you can just use your kick. You can choose to unequip your special weapon any time from the menu, if you want to. About item development. Any items you find, roll, because they're showing the roll and she can probably uh, work something out and give you stuff. Whether it be like a buster part, or even a, a new special weapon. And the support car, when you, you, eventually you'll be able to go in, talk to Data whenever you want. And she can use the support car to uh, help you go from place to place faster. Very handy. Ah, there you are. Hey, it's the officer. The fabulous I've been looking officer. for you, so I could give you this. Your citizen's card. A oh, sweet. Cha Ching. Now you'll be able to use the city gates. Awesome. Of course, there are some gates that can't be opened. Why is that? Yes, do, do, do explain. Pirates. We've received information that indicates there are some headed this way. So as a precaution, we're evacuating the civilians and locking the gates. What? Hi, Ritz! Um, our grandfather is still inside the city. Will he be alright? Well, I'm sure he's heard the announcements about the pirates. If I see him, I'll make sure he gets to a safe place. You'll excuse me. All these pirates. These pirates don't sound like I'm worried ropes. about Gramps. I hope he'll be okay. I'll go look for him. You wait here. Okay, Mega Man. Be careful. Roll, I'm like going in the city. Nothing bad's going to happen. Yeah, you can see the green bar now. Which, uh, let's just do this. Uh, let's just do this. It's an incredibly short range weapon. After a while, this goes off. Oh, also the parts. If you're curious, these are the stats of the, uh, the splash mine. It's barely powerful than your standard kick, but it hits multiple times at least. And it still has no range. Ever. That was a nice rapid though. I don't know why I, well, I don't know why it has a special bar. Pirates, huh? Well, they shouldn't give you any trouble. Be careful anyway, okay? Still say the same thing, Data. Okay! This is the threat of pirates looming. Avast ye hearties and all that. Walk the plank. Oh, I'm sure. I'm just my shanking with this buster. This is still here. I thought it was yours. You're too late. I already gave you a ticket. See? Well, my job's done. Guess I'll head back to the station now. <laughs> what a loser. Nah, it's not working. He's just doing his job. What? Who's this Miss Tron? Please will see us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're reacting well, quite, quite oddly to walking Lego blocks. Like, ah! Locking Legos! Kill it! Kill it! Boom! 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 <laughs> yeah. Hey, these guys are blocking the way! Hey, we're having a secret meeting! Get out of here! If I'm careful, I should be able to get close without them noticing. Basically, all I had to do was just hold down the circle button and you walk. Like this. Whisper, whisper. So yeah, these are gonna be the three. These three guys as they are, as they're pretty much Jim, Bensley, and Osh. What kind of freaking name is Osh? Boom! Oh, come on, everybody, let's go. Later, losers. God, I have amassed a bit of money. I wonder if I can buy stuff right now. My K 
again! So I'm buy a life gauge, an energy canteen, and a shield repair. A life gauge per- a li buying a life gauge permanently adds to your, uh, life bar. One block. And buying some secret life, uh, upgrades costs more. I'll buy two. An energy canteen lets you, uh, fill- uh, when you use it, refill some of your health. Like a sub tank in the Mega Man- in the Mega Man X games. You can buy extra packs to, uh, restore more health. Buy three. Here we have buster parts that raid, raise more stats. We have power raiser alpha. Range booster alpha. Turbo charger alpha. And the standards. I'll buy a power raiser alpha. And a range booster alpha. And a turbo charger alpha. I'm good. I personally go with power and range booster. You'll be needing both of these in a bit. So now I have some health and a can, a can to chug a lug, chug a lug from. We can actually go into the city now. Okay, got it. Once the decision's made, there's no turning back. Nothing less than 100%. And remember, it's more than just guns and ships. It's whoever has the most information that wins, right? Right, we understand. You need to keep your costs and risks as low as possible and stay on schedule. Good lord, they're so adorable. That's right. You've got it. Huh? Hmm. I just overheard anything. It's not like you're like doing anything suspicious or something. Hey, welcome to Catalog City. This is the South Block. Hey, how's it going, guys? Oh God! <sighs> hey, you can get run over by cars here. It's kind of funny. What's this? Tenzeni! Wah! There isn't much you can do, and you can't actually visit anyone's homes in this game, which is kind of funny. But you can't hear their voices. Hurry up! We need to go to evacuate! You can leave that here! No! I can't leave my Street Fighter dolls! Everyone will make fun of me if I don't have them! <laughs> What's gotten into you? That kid is... that kid... oh shoot! Pour me over again. Plastered around the city are these vending machines. You can put in a hundred zenny. And you got a soft drink. Which fully heals you. You can also kick the vending machines and... Odds are good that you can uh, get one to drop for free. But if you do that, you get negative karma. And if you kick it too hard, you might break it. And if you kick it again, once you break it, it explodes. And that's definitely bad karma for you. Here's a little known fact. You can go in this little manhole here. In this little secret area you can explore. There's not much here. Like, at all. All it does is get you to the ruins. From outside, you get this whole awful place with these Zilka bombs just chilling. I still don't like that that's actually here. There isn't much here. It's just a little extra. But yeah, you can see the sewers. Look at that green water. That beautiful, quite, quite possibly refreshing. Hey, officer. Just don't be lording around. Eh, sure. Yeah, the north block is where the city hall is. Nothing in there. There's a piece of paper that says, We've gone on a trip. Please don't come looking for us. Okay. 
here's the west block. This leads to Uptown, which is pretty nice, actually. I like Uptown. But we can't go there yet. I don't know. Unfortunate. What do you have to say for yourself? You better watch out too, make sure you don't get run over. Yeah, you're a bit like that. Right here is like is the library. Had a girl. A librarian who's got what got the the right smarts and the know how. Okay, it's a bit grim. <laughs> Reflect on the studies, this one. It's the history of Catalogs Island, Volume 1. Let's see. This unpopulated island was discovered some 100 years ago. Yeah, it's a bit of uh, extra fluff that you can read on your downtime if you were ever really curious about the, you know, the, the island you're on. Stop reading. This is one long book. So someone think productive. It seems like pirates aren't a nice bunch of people, are they? Well, it depends on what your source of media. Usually there's you know, the buff of rabble rouser sort of guy. That's enough farting around. Let's go to the city hall. 